the Royal Sleeping Ventures as an enterprise was registered in 2005 with the focus at inception was primary agricultural production with interest in cassava farming, aquaculture, and animal husbandry. Now, in 2007, uh, they diversified into processing, packaging, marketing, and distribution of natural agricultural food products, such as homegrown rice, with special bias for the brown variety, natural wild honey, cassava flakes, and yam flour. Now, you mentioned um, earlier you always love the outdoors. You've been more or less attracted to agricultural rights from the get-go. But how did how did the how did the whole idea of you know doing this start? You know, um, the, um, you know, focusing on cassava farming, agriculture, animal husbandry. How did how did all that come together? Okay, when I was in the bank, actually, I noticed that we're in Kinshasa, and because of the you know the banking way, the lifestyle, you know, you have to wake up very early to be able to get to work on time. You are living on the main line, you need to get to the island, and everything was actually like a great concern because I thought that I couldn't jolly well have what I wanted at home before going to work. So I needed to pack my food most of the time because I don't like eating out because of you know obviously kind of food and ingredients that they will use. So yeah, I started to think about all of that even while I was working. But I didn't I couldn't just leave school and then start my business. Fortunately I got a job and I was like, okay, let me do this job for some time and see how I can you know put some money together and then do something that I really, really am passionate about and I started thinking about what I would do to, you know, make an impact in the nutrition that people were, you know, getting themselves involved in. So I, I knew a lot of people were taking a lot of, you know, snacks and sugary things and I started thinking that if I wanted to make an impact, I think I should start with getting people off sugar and stuff. So I started thinking about the honey and at that time and then, you know, even the government was thinking about, you know, the imported rice that we're spending so much money on. And we have to have plans, keep hearing of the, you know, opportunities that we have. We have to demand capital and all, but why is even planting the rice? We're still importing so much rice. I was like, so why can't we plant the rice that, you know, in this nation? So let's think about all of that in, my, in the background of my mind. Okay, it was still, yes. it was still in theory. Yes, in theory. In theory. And father was, because I was in the West, so it, my father kept doing it because it was predominantly found here and people were easily tuned to see my father, but not my once in a while, for mm, things um, like uh, parties and so on, not, exactly. not, not like just a, an occasional, an occasional food, food yeah, not, not a daily, a daily thing. Okay, so uh, can you can you tell us how how it was at the beginning when you finally decided, okay, I have only theory in my head, let me get things started. Okay. What, what was it like? Uh, it was it was it was pretty easy because my my husband was at that time someone that was also very passionate about it. And he, he knew the kind of person that he got involved with. So he knew the things that would just make him very, feel very comfortable. So he didn't, he didn't take this much effort for him to allow us to go into our feet. But he thought I was very passionate about it. And he also had a passion for it. And when we were ready, I had that support from him. And we, you know, we were living in Lagos and it was so easy. Particles of sand that escaped the machine. It will be easy to get rid of such now in using this tea. So this now completes the cycle of the processing of rice. When we finish this, the next thing we do is to drink finished product into the room where it will be packaged packaging room i'll just bring here bring out my zip locks code with the machine the batch coding machine after coding with the appropriate date i now weigh and scale i weigh scale and then i Deplug the products when I finish. I now bring it here and seal the edge of the zip lock. I will also show you this process when I finish installing the rice box.
Hi and welcome. In 2019, the services part of my business got birthed from my successful launch and establishment of a business that was initially solely based on product manufacturing and farming. The squeeze page seeks to capture the most interesting stuff we have created and curated over time that we believe will appeal to a large audience. So at just an instance, one can have a broad view of all that is beautifully available. Enjoy this surfing with all my regards. Hmm. That my madam waiting they call uh, Madame Fausat. Hmm. Restless, tireless, always running from pillar to post, half of the time not for her own, but for others. She's just the best. Mm.